Again, the former defense minister arrives at court aided in a wheelchair. Bello Haliru Muhammad and his son are facing four counts of money laundering to the tune of $3 million. The prosecution alleges that through their personal firm, they diverted funds meant for the purchase of arms. Charges they've denied. Both men have been in custody and are here for the outcome of their bail application. Granted bail, but with stiff conditions. Among other things, they would each have to provide $1.5 million bail bond and surrender their travel documents to the court. They'll also have to provide two government workers who either own land or tangible property in the country's capital to stand as surety for them. These conditions may pose a challenge to the accused persons. It was okay, they, apart from the fact that the, the conditions are a little uh, wondrous, stringent, but well, we'll see whether they are attainable, whether they are fulfillable. And they may have to revert to the court to reconsider the bill terms. Let's see how uh, the, the, the defendants, you know, their efforts at uh, trying to meet uh, the conditions. If they are unable to fulfill the conditions, of course, we may, have, we may have no choice than to go back to court to ask for variation. In the meantime, both men would remain in custody until the bail conditions are either met or revised by the court. This is the second high-profile corruption case in Nigeria. President Buhari has vowed to stop at nothing in prosecuting all implicated officials. Most importantly, recover billions of dollars stolen from government coffers. Former security advisor Sambo Dasuki is also accused of signing off on shadow contracts for arms and then allegedly pocketing the money. Soldiers battling Boko Haram complained that they're ill-equipped and underpaid. That's despite a $2 billion arms purchase deal signed off by Dasuki. The cases are part of President Muhammadu Buhari's widespread crackdown on corruption. Kelechi Mekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.